Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. So it is currently Saturday. I have the weekend off so I thought I would just vlog. Um, so it's currently about half past seven and I have decided that I'm going to do a workout this morning. I probably won't film what I look like afterwards because I don't know about you guys but when I work out I go the colour of the tomato and it probably looks like to people that I'm gonna pass out. Like I remember when I used to go to fitness classes, people used to ask me if I was okay. And I was like, yeah, my color, my color? My face just calls this color. Um, and then I see other people like on social media and they'll be like, oh, just did a 10K run. And they literally have a full face of makeup on and don't look like they have sweat at all. And I don't know how to do it, but I'm certainly not like that. But yeah, I'm gonna do my workout. Today is a beautiful day. So it's literally put me in the best mood. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna vlog this weekend because yeah, the sun just makes me happy. This isn't the best place to film because I'm super backlit, but I've done my workout. I've had a shower. I've washed and dried my hair. I'm feeling so fresh. I've done like the dishes done laundry like i was just on a roll this morning i don't know if any of you guys are the same but the morning is when i have the most energy so i try and get as much done as possible because then as the day goes on i'm just like less productive um so yeah the morning is when i normally get a lot of things done but anyways harley is glad now that it's time to take him for a walk normally like i just take him for a walk as soon as i get up but yeah, this morning I was just like in the zone of getting things done. I don't know if Harley's too happy about that though, because <laughs> he is eager to get out. So we're going to go to the beach and I don't know if I ever showed you guys Harley's harness for the beach. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm getting them all tangled. Look how cute this is. It has beach hats on it and my mum got it for him when we moved here because obviously we live by the beach, um, which I thought was the cutest thing ever. So this is from the adorable pooch and it is so cute. I've got my little clicker because Harley the other day actually met his new dog trainer. Um, so obviously we have moved to a different area so we need a new dog trainer because the previous one that we had is just like too far for us to travel and um, see. So yeah, he met his new dog trainer and he encouraged us to use this for training. So yeah, we've got lots of tips and yeah, just things that we can do to help Harley continue to feel less anxious around people and dogs. So yeah, I think sometimes it's just, well for me anyways, I think it was just nice just to hear like what is the right thing to do because sometimes I can question myself and be like, is that the right thing to do? Because like a dog, you can't like speak to them and they understand. It's like, you know if a kid was like anxious or something, you could try and talk to them to make them feel better. It's very hard to do that with a dog, so I'm like, what do I do? So it's really nice to like have some advice from a professional on what is the best like way to approach it. So I feel like just better even just knowing like what I should be doing rather than like question myself if, oh no, if I'm doing this, is this actually the wrong thing and I'm actually making him worse? So yeah, I think like a dog trainer is just so useful. Uh, so yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm still probably gonna be super stressed on walks, but I'm gonna give this a go and just keep at it. And yeah, I think repetition and perseverance is the key. But yeah, if you have a dog who's reactive or aggressive or just like has any sort of like behavioral issues, then you could probably relate that walks are so stressful. Uh, so yeah, I feel you, but just, just keep going with it. <laughs> I'm honestly having the best time at the beach with Harley right now. We are just like walking back because uh, we like always walk on one side where the sea is, where like it's so packed today obviously because it's such a beautiful day, it's the weekend, like there's so many tourists about like taking photos and stuff, it's so lovely. It's just like a nice atmosphere, everyone's just so happy, like without sounding creepy I love like not people watching, but just like when I'm walking past, I'm like, oh, look at that old couple just like 
on a little walk in the beach, like just enjoying life. Like, I just like to see other people happy. Um, so yeah, we're walking back now on the other side and it's so quiet because obviously the sea's not here so I can actually vlog and also no one's here so that's perfect for vlogging. I just realised I need to buy myself sunglasses because when I was around the other side where the sun was I literally couldn't see a thing and I was squinting my eyes and I go on holiday in a couple of weeks so I definitely need to get sunglasses. My um, ones that I previously had I broke them in Costa Rica. I had them like on my top and then like I bent down, <laughs> dropped them and they just broke. So yeah, I need to get myself new sunglasses. I don't know where to buy them though because I don't want to order them online because I like to try them on in case they're like too big for my face or something. I don't think I have any shops around here that would sell sunglasses. It's actually my dad's birthday in a couple of days so I'm going to wrap all of his gifts and then write out his birthday card as well. I just realised that this gift bag that I bought though, I got one that's ripped. <laughs> um, and these jeans are quite heavy because they're like motorbike jeans so I'm hoping that that does not rip the bag even more. But I actually found this in the cupboard and a new like roll of uh, wrapping paper that hasn't even been opened so I was like that's perfect because it's the exact same colour as the bag so glad I found that. I have wrapped all of my dad's presents and I have rolled out his card so I'm glad I got that done. I've just quickly popped to Asda just because I need to get a few bits and pieces. I literally have one poo bag left for Harley and I don't know how I've left it to this long but yeah that's one of the things that I need to get that's an essential. Oh my gosh it is boiling in the car like it is such a nice day. But yeah you know how I am a nervous driver like I always have been. I'm finding it so much harder now that I've just moved to an area that I don't even even know like I don't know where anything is so I constantly have to have my phone like um, on a little like holder and I have my maps on the whole time because I don't know where anywhere is I feel like it's making me so just like on edge when I'm driving like I'm just so nervous it's crazy like I never enjoyed driving when I was in Inverness but there was areas that I knew how to get to and they were like easier to get to and here I just feel like I don't know how to explain it, like when I'm driving I'm holding my breath because I'm like so focused but like so nervous I forget to breathe and then like I pull up and I'm like oh my gosh I did it and it's literally Asda like what the hell. I'm back from Asda, I got the essentials that I needed but I'm so glad that I had a quick look at the clothing section because well I got two t-shirts so the first one that caught my eye was this one and it says on it Arizona Rodeo Legends and then it's got some cowboy boots on it and I just love it like at the moment I'm really obsessed with like cowboy boots because of like Taylor Swift but also like ever since I even just had a connection in the US like I really want to visit the US and explore like Texas like Tennessee. So I bought this and I'm so happy with it. I think it's so cute and I've just got like this vision of me hopefully next year or the year after visiting the US. Um, I don't know it's just so hard because there's just so many places that I want to see and it's just the fact that I don't have enough money to see everywhere that I want to see. I don't have enough time to see everywhere that I want to see. Um, so it's just like hard fitting it all in. But it's definitely, I'd say within the next two years, I definitely want to visit the US. Um, so yeah, that I'm putting out to the universe. That is, that's my goal. But anyways, the next t-shirt, I am so glad that I found this because it was literally the only one. So yeah, when I saw that t-shirt, there was just like random ones behind it um that must have just been like single ones that were left from a while ago and i found this girls aloud t-shirt which is perfect because i'm actually going to a girls aloud concert uh is that next week or the week after i don't know it's it's soon basically um and yeah i found this and i was so glad because it was the last one and it's in a medium which is the size that I would have wanted it in so I got the last Girls Aloud t-shirt and I was like this is great because I had no idea what I was going to wear to the concert and this was like £12.50 which isn't too bad because if I bought like a t-shirt when I actually go to the concert it would probably be about £30 or £40 like normally when you go to a concert the merchandise is very expensive so for £12.50 I thought that was brilliant so at least now I know what I'm gonna wear to Girls Aloud so if you're also going to a Girls Aloud concert maybe check your Asda or maybe they have this online actually um, and it's like I've just tried it on it's such a nice oversized fit I love it and this one by the way 
it was even cheaper. It was, yeah, it was eight pounds. And again, so oversized, comfortable, I love it. I just had my lunch outside in the garden and it was so nice. I bought this huge picnic blanket from Amazon and it's actually so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but like that's even better. Cause like I can actually proper lie out on it, um, like flat. So once I ate my lunch now, I was literally just like sunbathing and it was so nice. My plan was to stay out there um, and make friendship bracelets because that's what I did the other day but Harley is just not cooperating. Our next door neighbour's dog is out so Harley is really stressed. I think it was last week I managed to make some friendship bracelets out in the garden and it was so nice but that was only because the neighbour's dog wasn't out so Harley was like nice and calm and just like lying in the sun and like fetching his toy and stuff like that but yeah today he is a bit stressed and i know that uh our new dog trainer said that when we're out in the garden like until he obviously gets used to it we need to oh he's brought his toy what was i saying yeah when we're out in the garden with him we need to just be like on it training so i can't like just relax um i need to be like training and so because i want to make friendship bracelets um, I wouldn't be able to focus and actually train him and like, you know, take him inside every time that he's barking and then, you know, keep trying with the clicker and treats and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and make some friendship bracelets inside and then, uh, hopefully once I've done that, I can then go outside and actually do some training with him. But yeah, he was getting stressed. So I literally just put him in, ate my lunch and then like sunbathed for 10 minutes and I was like okay right I best go back inside with him. So the Eras tour is two weeks tomorrow and I have made five bracelets. Please tell me that someone else is in the same situation as me. Oh okay Harley <laughs> you just sit right there while I, where I'm filming. Okay you're so cute. Yeah, I've literally made five bracelets. One of them, my first one, was way too small, so I'm actually gonna have to redo that one. But if you follow me on TikTok, you might have seen that I found these in TK Maxx, and they're so good. Um, so this one I'm gonna use for like fearless bracelets, and then this one I've been using for reputation bracelets, and then this one is gonna be my midnight's one. Those were the only colors of beads in my local TK Maxx, but I've seen other people show different colored ones. So if you're looking for beads, it might be worth looking in TK Maxx. So yeah, the Eaters tour is two weeks tomorrow. I literally have my days off until then. I literally have plans apart from today. So today is my only day to make friendship bracelets, <laughs> unless I like make them before or after work. <laughs> um, so yeah, wish me luck. So I actually ended up only making a couple of bracelets and then I came outside just because the weather was too good. I actually got some weeding done. As you can see, it still looks like a jungle behind me, but honestly, the progress that I've made with the garden so far, I'll need to insert some pictures, but it's honestly taken me weeks and weeks because when we moved in, this place just looked like a jungle and the front still does, but the back I've done probably like, probably only like 70% of it and it's taken me hours and hours like literally one day I did like eight hours straight on one of my days off it's actually crazy uh but yeah Michael's home now so he was like playing with Harley and doing some training with him whilst I was weeding and now we're gonna have some dinner outside because it's still beautiful and Harley's behaving really well good boy good boy also I got a new table and chairs so cute. We're having our pizza outside and yeah, this is a new table and chair set that I bought. I got it from TK Maxx and it's so cute. It's nice to have somewhere to sit. Michael and I are just back from taking Harley for a walk. We went in the woods. Um, it's now like the evening. It's now like 8pm so it was nice and cool. 
um, and like shaded in the woods, which was really nice. Holly was so good. Holly loves the woods because again, it's like spacious. You've just got room to like, well, I guess have his own space. I'm just quickly ending this vlog. I'm literally just making some more friendship bracelets. I made this really cute one um, that says snow on the beach and then it has little seashells hanging from it. It's so cute. I'm literally addicted to making these bracelets. I had a little bracelet kit arrive today that I ordered off Amazon and the beads are literally tiny, like I should have checked that before I ordered it, but they're so small so it's taking me so long just to make one bracelet, but it's actually so much fun, like it's literally making me feel like I'm a kid again and I'm enjoying it so much, like that's what I love about like when you're obsessed with like a singer or something, it just makes you feel like a little excited teenager again, you're like total fangirling, well I am anyways. Am I 25? Yes, but am I enjoying making friendship bracelets? 100%. Like, I actually don't know what I'll do after the years tour. Like, I just want to continue making bracelets, but for what? <laughs> this is just so much fun. But yeah, anyways, thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again very, very soon for another one. Bye guys.